What's up, my YouTube family? So again, your girl is keeping to her word of doing two live videos every week. I think my days is going to be Wednesdays and Sundays is where you'll catch a live video from me. Um, what I want to talk about today is having an accountability partner. Now, your accountability partner can be someone that is actually doing something with you. Like, so for me, my accountability partner is someone who is actually working out with me. We're speaking on accountability partner, no matter what you're doing. You know, if you're trying to achieve a goal in your business or you're trying to reach a certain weight goal, or if you're trying to just achieve something, whatever that something is, what you want to do is to make sure that you have shared whatever your goal is with someone that will have no problem holding you accountable to reach that. So if you're trying to, you know, do some things on your job so that you can get yourself a raise, or if you're working to start a business and there are some things that you have to do before you can actually launch that business. If you're looking to lose weight like myself and you know, you just want a healthier lifestyle all around, all of those things will require you to have an accountability partner, right? Now you may have an accountability partner that is not actually participating with you. So if you are looking to lose weight, looking to do your business, looking to create an income goal or whatever your goal is, you may have an accountability partner that could be in another state that can be somewhere else outside of where you are, but you guys set up times that you can meet weekly to kind of discuss what your goals are. You know, if there's like, let's say you're setting a goal to work out, right? And you don't have an actual accountability partner going to work out with you, then you want to make sure that the person that is your accountability partner, if you were supposed to work out, let's say four days a week, you should be talking to that accountability partner at least four times a week, every single day. You need to talk to that person so they can say, hey, did you do what you said you were going to do? If you didn't, then that is, it's the job of that accountability partner to find out why didn't you do it? You know, are you really wanting to accomplish this or whatever you're trying to accomplish? You know, that is what the role of an accountability partner is. It's not for you to allow that person to escape with excuses easily. That is what an accountability partner should do. So if you have someone that you know that they're not really going to hold you accountable and you're saying that that's your accountability partner, then that's really not an accountability partner. Then you really already know that you're probably going to be lackadaisical on the things that you need to do to reach your goals because you don't have a real accountability partner. You want to make sure your accountability partner wants, you know, you to win and it would be a better idea for you to get someone that is achieving a goal, you know, like-minded goals, so you guys can keep each other accountable versus you getting someone who doesn't have really a vested interest in making sure that you reach your goals. So I would touch a little bit on my account accountability partner for working out. You know, just recently, maybe about five weeks ago, I made the decision that I wanted to get healthier. And we were just kind of talking and we were both like, okay, we want to get healthier. We have certain goals that we want to reach in our health, which includes eating healthier as well as exercising frequently, which is for us four to five days a week. And so we just both happened to want something really bad and we have decided to work together. So my accountability partner is someone who is actually going to work out with me. Now we work out four to five days a week. We make, we have made an, a, a, a pact that we are going to get up every morning somewhere between 4.15 and 5.15 a.m. to get to the gym early in the morning so that we can work out for an hour you know, before we start our day. That is something that we both want. Is it easy? No. Is it something that, you know, some days I don't want to get up and some days she doesn't want to get up, but we push each other. And that is why we achieve our goal every single week of working out at least four days a week, unless something comes up an emergency or something like that. But for the most part, we both have lost weight. We both have, you know, started to see results. And when you start to receive results and whatever it is that you are looking to achieve, guess what? You're going to want to do it more. You're going to want to say, okay, you know what? I like these results that I'm getting. So guess what? I'm doing these actions towards getting this result, but let's see what if I could do this different. So for me, that's not necessarily including more working out, but it's actually being more conscious of what I put into my body, realizing that the food that they are, you know, producing now is not necessarily healthy and you have to make healthier food choices. You can literally lose weight just by eating healthier and eating better and very with very limited exercising. And so today I just really wanted to 
encourage somebody. I, I think I've been on here maybe five minutes. Um, I just wanted to encourage somebody today, you know, to think about some goals that you want to reach over the next four months. You have four months, a little less than four months, actually, because we're already into September, but we have a little less than four months. What is it that you want to achieve over the next four months, the next three months? Let's even start working on the next 90 days, the last 90 days of 2022. What is it that you want to achieve? Are you looking to, you know, lose a little weight? Are you looking to make sure you have a healthier lifestyle by eating healthier? Are you looking to reach a certain income goal? Are you trying to get to a specific area in your job? Are you wanting a raise? Are you wanting a different type of job? You know, are you wanting something in your career? Are you wanting to, you know, pay off some debt? You know, what kind of goal can you set for the next 90 days that you can really increase your efforts to be better in? What is that goal? And whatever that is, make sure that you write the goal down because guess what? It's not real unless you write it down. And then you find yourself an accountability partner that has a similar goal. So, and, and make sure that you guys set up the times that you're going to reach out to each other to make sure that you are doing the, the steps that you need to do to reach that goal. So if you're looking to create more income, do you have a vehicle that's going to allow you to create more income? How much extra income are you looking to create over the next 90 days? If you're trying to lose weight, same thing, those different kinds of questions. How much weight are you wanting to lose? You know, are you willing to eat healthier? What types of things are you willing to do over the next 90 days to reach your goal? Make sure that your accountability partner is somebody that's going to call you out on your BS. Don't get an, an accountability partner that's okay with letting you be lackadaisical. That's the whole objective of having an accountability partner is to make sure that you got somebody that's going to call you out on your BS and make you feel a little bad for not reaching your goal, especially because if you just decided not to do something because you didn't want to do it. No, that's not the answer. That's not how you're going to reach that goal. The, re the way you're going to reach that goal is by doing things that you need to do. You need to figure out what kind of steps you need to take to reach that goal. You know, if you're looking to lose weight, what kind of work are you going to put in at, at the gym? Like what kind of exercises, what, where are you wanting to target the most, right? Well, I really want to make short, concise to the point videos, you know, really to reach out to some people that are just looking to grow in certain areas of your life. We have 90 days, really 90 days kind of to focus on now before we close out 2022. The goal is to be better in certain areas of your life, whatever is the most important for you right now. If you need to create more money so that you can get yourself better positioned as we're getting ready to head into a recession, that's a whole nother video. You gotta make sure that you are prepared financially. If you are not as healthy as you could be, as you know, food is expensive. I went to McDonald's the other day as a last resort and I went to get a filet of fish sandwich, right? That's the only thing that I will eat at McDonald's is filet of fish and their fries. I added extra cheese. No, I didn't need it. <laughs> but I asked for filet of fish sandwich, not the meal, but the sandwich with extra fry, I mean, with extra cheese and a, a value fry. And it was $9 and like 60 something cents. There is no way that I'm gonna pay $9 and something for a sandwich and a fry at McDonald's. So I made a healthier choice, which is what I should have did in the beginning. I went to a healthier restaurant that we have here called Tropical Grill, and I got some yellow rice, some black beans, lettuce, tomato, and some, sh some chicken. And it was much healthier, and it was only $10 and some change. So just that right there, being you know, not willing to pay almost $10 for something that's fast food that I know that's not good to me, you know, good for my body, and just making a decision real quick, you know what, I'm gonna go eat healthier. Just things like that, you know, just little things. You can hold yourself accountable too, but you gotta have a goal that you're trying to reach that makes you want to do that. So make sure, you know, you really dig with inside of yourself over the next, you know, couple of days as you're watching this video and say, what goal do I really wanna reach by the end of this year? What goal am I gonna dig deep inside of myself, right? And am, what am I gonna achieve over the next 90 days? So ask yourself that question, what goal can you really work towards so that you can crush over the next 90 days? I mean, crush it big. And so as you're probably wondering, what does my shirt say? I got 99 problems, baby, but a niche ain't one. I got 99 problems, baby, but a niche ain't one. It's your girl, Nikki Pink Goddess, signing out of this video. I will see you on the next one. Peace.